So today we're going to review this caraway rondeau pot with a lid while cooking a spicy spaghetti sauce. Um, unfortunately, they aren't currently selling the marigold color in just the rondeau pot, but you can buy it in different colors or purchase the whole caraway cook set. And both those links will be down below in the description. But anyways, let's get into it. Um, let's get into it. Oh, and yeah, make sure to stay till the end because I'm going to tell you a couple little secrets about this pot that you aren't going to expect. Um, but anyways, we're going to unbox this caraway rondeau pot first just because the packaging is so fancy. I couldn't miss this opportunity. Um, so first off, it just comes in such nice packaging. Like I said earlier, it's just it's so nice. And the lid quality is absolutely superb when I take it out. Like you can just see and feel it right out of the box that it is made of a ma amazing high quality material. In the bottom of the pot, you find this cleaning eraser, which helps clean stains on the caraway. And the little eraser feels like such nice quality as well. I just feel like that's such a nice touch from the brand. Like they really think about everything when they're making these quality pots and pans. Like I just, I'm amazed by this. And then when I pulled out the whole pot, oh my goodness, I was amazed at the size of it as well. And the quality of the handles, like... It just feels super sturdy and I feel like it's going to last me a really long time. Even if I accidentally drop it or whatever. Um, and the bottom of the inside of the pot looked like such high quality nonstick as well. Like as I'm feeling it, it's just I'm amazed by that as well. Um, but we're going to get into the cooking part now of this video. Um, this pot, as you can see, when I'm cooking the sausage is incredibly great for searing. And it also features an amazing non-toxic ceramic coating so as i'm cooking the sausage i'm gonna add some better than bouillon roasted beef base uh i personally usually use the italian kind but i ran out of it so i'm just gonna use the beef kind to make the flavor of the sauce more bold and less tomatoey um i don't like to taste super acidic -y tomato -y, so that's why i like to add this in there um, and then I'm going to add in our leftover ground beef that we used for the tacos the other night. And as I'm putting the beef in, I'm really loving that the walls are high on this pot. It makes making sauces like this a lot less messy and easier to control than just using a regular frying pan. So as I'm my, uh, I have my ground beef and sausage simmering in the beef bouillon for a couple minutes, you can see that it's not sticking to the bottom, which is great because I can just let it simmer and not worry about it until I add in my tomatoes sauces. Um, I use two cans of tomato sauce and one can of diced tomatoes with green chilies, which is part of the spicy factor in this sauce, along with adding some salt and pepper. Obviously that's not super spicy in the spice category, but I'm also gonna add um, a spicy spaghetti seasoning, which I absolutely love um, for this dish. Um, I like to use a lot of those spices into my sauce as you um like i like to add a lot of those spices into my sauce sorry but you can add as little or as much as you'd like i don't have like measurements or anything like that i kind of just eyeball it um and then i'm gonna add in some onion powder and garlic powder and again you can add as much or as little as you want i just personally totally forgot to add fresh garlic and fresh onion i totally forgot we even had it in the fridge so if you want to add that in yourself even in the beginning you totally can it's totally up to you if you want to just use a powder you totally can um and then i like to let my sauce simmer at low for at least an hour you can simmer it for longer or shorter it's totally up to you um, so now I've made the sauce. I'm going to get into little secret details. I was mentioning earlier, this pot, pot can be put into the oven and not just use on the stove. And you can cook anything into it up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's multi-purpose, which is a great feature to have in a pot. Another little secret is that it needs to be hand washed, um, or at least it's recommended to be hand washed. But it's so simple to wash that you aren't wasting tons of water and everything just comes off so nicely. You aren't stuck at the sink forever scrubbing, which is also super handy. Um, so that's my little secret about this pot um, or little secrets, uh, sorry, about this pot. I'd really recommend clicking the links below in the description and purchasing either this Rondo pot or the full set because this pot is to die for. Also, if you're wanting more reviews on kitchen items, um, press that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.